Let's do Phil's Pick My Valentine's makeup. Okay, first up we've got eyeshadow. Come on. Oh, cute. I'm going in with a white eyeshadow base all over my lid first. I'm just gonna take my sponge to blend it all out. I've just drawn a love heart shape on some tape with a Sharpie. And I'm gonna start cutting out that love heart shape. Okay, I've got my heart shape. Can you guys see that? So now I'm gonna stick it on my eyelid. Right about here. Oh, it works, it works. Then I'm gonna cover my eyelid in pink eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna start tapping over where I placed that heart sticker. This would be so much easier if I actually had like a love heart sticker, but I don't, so I had to do this little DIY one. So hopefully it works. But guys, ever since I came back from holiday, my skin has been so bad. I have been eating a lot of junk, so that obviously doesn't help. I've had a lot of breakouts, the texture's not good. Probably doesn't look bad on camera, but trust me, it is. I definitely need to get back to like working out and eating clean. Because I'm getting a little chubby. Now I'm gonna go in with this lighter pink shade in my crease. Blending it into that pink. I'm adding a bit of white eyeshadow on my inner corner. Okay, time to peel off the heart and see if we did it right. Oh, okay. Here we go. <gasps> Do you guys see? All right, now I'm sticking it onto my other eyelid. Going in with that pink again. I used to actually hate pink because I wasn't a girly girl. I was a little bit of a tomboy growing up, but now I kind of like it. Now I'm just filling in that pink heart with some pink face paint. Now I'm using a darker pink to do some tiny little hearts on the inner corner. Next up is eyeliner. Come on, pick a good one. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. <laughs> so I'm drawing out the heart and then I'm gonna go around it with my wing liner. Join it up carefully. I'm just gonna start filling it all in black, except that little heart part there. Time for some blush. Come on, be a good one. Oh, okay. <laughs> it looks just like a circle of blush right here. Let me get some white tissue just to see. Yeah, it looks like kind of like a circle. Okay, it looks like it only goes here and a little bit under the eye. So I'm just focusing it on that area. Time for the lips. Ooh, I had high hopes for this look. It was going so well. I was going in with white face paint. Looking at my lips is making me want marshmallows. I don't know why. <laughs> the little red hearts are on. Okay, be right back. Okay, here's the end result. Like the eyes are really, really pretty. It's just the lips. What do you guys think? Be honest, I won't take it personally. Is this a cute or a fail? <laughs> fail, let's pick my Valentine's makeup. Let's do it. First up we got brows. What's it gonna be? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm just filling in the front of my brows to create that uni brow. It might not be exactly like the filter, but this is the best I can do. Next is eyeshadow. Come on. Oh. Going in with a red eyeshadow base on my eyelid. There was some red underneath as well. Then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and blend out the edges. It's making me think of strawberries. Now I'm cutting my crease with a white eyeshadow base. Oh no, it's transferred a little bit on my lid. It's kind of going pink because it's mixing in with the red, but it's fine. Okay, eyes are done. Here's how it's looking. I'm setting that white base with some white eyeshadow because we don't want it transferring all over the place. And it makes the white really pop as well. Eyeliner next. <laughs> What is that? Just red liner? Mm. I'm doing a red wing eyeliner. I'm gonna make it pretty thick. I'm adding the inner corner liner, but I don't even know who the filter had inner corner liner. <laughs> Oops. Blush time. Come on. Please be something cute. <gasps> no! Doing the heart shape blush. Let me show you how I did it on the side. I just take a fluffy eyeshadow brush, dip it into some red eyeshadow. I've marked out my placement. Tap along. Same on that side. I go in with a smaller brush and I'm gonna start marking out the shape more. I look ridiculous. <laughs> this is not going as well as I thought it would. Let's move on to lips. Okay, lips, let's finish off strong. Come on. <laughs> Why? <sighs> Why did the filter have to do me dirty? Just going in with some of that pink shade on my lips. Okay, be right back. Here's the end result. <laughs> This is horrible. Probably one of the worst ones I've done. Like the cheeks and the lip color, it just ruined everything. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I already know what you guys are gonna say, but honest thoughts, what do you think? Is this a cute or a fail? Fail, let's pick my Valentine's makeup. Let's do it. 
eyebrows first. Let's see what we get. <laughs> I'm blocking out my eyebrows first so that I can draw the new eyebrow shape on. My eyebrows are glued down now. I'm just putting some concealer over the top to cover the dark hairs. Now I'm setting the brow in place with some translucent powder so that I can draw on top of it. I look so crazy right now. So I'm using some face paint just to draw up the brow shape and fill it in. I think that shape's okay. <laughs> this is taking me way longer than it should. These eyebrows make me look so sad or worried, especially if I do this. <laughs> Eyeshadow time, makeup on filter, what are you gonna give me? Ah, that's cute. Going in with a pink eye base first and underneath right here. I'm starting with the little red hearts first. I've drawn on the little pink hearts as well. Now I'm just doing the white ones. Eyeliner time. Mm -hmm. huh, what is that? White with a red heart on the end. Okay. Doing that white wing eyeliner. Just using face paint. I'm sad that it's gonna cover up some of my hearts right here, but it's all right. Add in the little red hearts that came with this liner as well. Okay, I just gotta have a steady hand and not blink. Quickly putting some concealer on before I do the blush filter. Lash, come on. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm just adding some red eyeshadow, but I think I might have done too much because the filter one looks a lot more blended out, so I'm trying to blend it a bit more. <gasps> I feel like I'm just making it worse. Freckles, okay, so there isn't a Valentine's freckles filter, so I'm just using this one. <laughs> Very inappropriate. Let's do it. I'm drawing out the outlines of each of the emojis first with white face paint and then I'm gonna go in and add some colour. Okay, I managed to do this side and it's turned out pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. Now I've gotta try and do the peach side. It's so hard to do this on camera because it's so much detail and shading and I'm like taking forever, but I'll try and do a bit of it on camera. Okay, going in with orange and just filling in the whole thing. Trying to do some like outlining and shading on the peach with dark brown face paint. Peach is done. Mm, I feel like it could be better, but that'll do. <laughs> it's lips next. Come on, do a good one. Mm, okay, I've drawn out the heart shape for my lips and I'm just filling it in. And I am using face paint again, but maybe I should have just used like a red liquid lipstick. Too late to drown that now. Okay, let's add a piercing because why not? Mm -hmm. I can do that. Got one. It's just a fake nose piercing. There we go. Okay, I need to add my lashes to finish this off. I also want to add another little detail, so I'll be right back. Okay, as an end result, I decided to add some lenses to make it look a bit more crazy, I guess. It's not too bad. I wish it picked different emojis, but I'll let you guys decide. Honest thoughts, guys, what do you think? Is this a cute or a fail? Do me a big, big favor and hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. What I get in a week of PR? Let's get into it. I'm gonna start with the smaller packages first. Let's see what we got. Ooh, we got some fancy lipsticks, I think it is. That packaging is really pretty. Ooh, how do you open this thing? What? Ooh, I figured it out. It's just this top part comes out. This is a refillable lipstick. Ooh. Oh, I love that color. This goes in here. Oh, oh, look. This goes in here. Look. Woo. But I did ruin it because I put it in while this little lid thing was on and turned it so it's smushed. This is the shades of red you get. What is this? Oh. So we got some Lotte London. Let's open it up. Oh. Okay, so we've got two eyeshadow palettes, cream lipstick and blush sticks right here, and lip oils. I love their lip oils. I'm actually wearing one of them now, this one. Mine looks kind of used and abused. Oh, okay. So it's an eyeshadow palette, an eyeliner, a mascara, and a clear lip plumping gloss. Ooh, next up is P. Louise. <laughs> A cleanser, bubble bath, a shimmer body wash, body scrub, a sleeping mask, and repair lotion. Some under eye patches. I'm not sure what this is. I think it's a makeup remover because it says melt away. Liquid blush. And last but not least, an eyeshadow palette. 
This is huge. There's 50 shades in here and there's a little mirror too. That's cute. This one's Seattle London. Oh, okay. So we got an eyeshadow palette, a highlighter, metallic glitter eyeshadow, mascara, and a dewy bronze glossy cheek tint. This packaging is cute. I really like it. I think this is really pretty. It would be perfect if they switched one of the shimmery shades for a black. I'm not really into shimmer eyeshadows. Next we have Beauty Bay. And we got two boxes. First box. Oh, it's time to get groovy. Yeah, baby. Ah. Got a liner brush and a white water activated liner from Glisten Cosmetics. Hairspray from Beauty Works. A headband. I'll leave it on for the rest of the video. Some So Su lashes. A Beauty Bay felt tip liner. It's a black liner. And this eyeshadow palette. Okay, here's the inside of the palette. The next Beauty Bay box. So in this one, I think this is a headband. Then we've also got some spot patches, moisturizer, oil serum, and a cleansing balm. We got something from Imagination PR. Ooh. Oh my gosh, yes. So they sent over some Lee Stafford Scalp Love conditioner and shampoo, and then also my favorite, Heat Protection Shine Mist. I love this stuff. I straighten my hair a lot, so I've tried a lot of heat protectors over the years, and usually this Tresemme one is like my go-to favorite because I like the way it makes my hair feel. I've been through two bottles already. Here's an empty one. I love them both. <laughs> Next is Milk Makeup. Oh, okay, this is really heavy too. Ooh. Oh, this is so many shades, guys. Oh my gosh. So I think it's all the shades that are there. Multi-purpose cream sticks. Use it for contouring, bronzing, highlight, cheeks, lips. So next up is Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, come on. Oh, why am I so clumsy? That's like the second time I've hit myself in the face with the packaging. Oh, we like a pretty box. Let's open it up. So I've got four shades of her new liquid blushes. And then two shades of pillow talk. I'm not sure what this is because I've never used it, but it says to make your eyes pop. So I'm guessing it's like an eye glitter or eyeshadow or something, or maybe it's just a highlighter. Last box from Velvet Caviar. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> Betty Boot Collection. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so three phone cases. Which one's your favorite? We've got a grip ring, an AirPod case, and phone charm. Oh my god. And this cute power bag. It goes onto the back of your iPhone and charges it. See, it's magnetic. Did you guys ever see that Betty Boot makeup look that I did? That's everything for this week, guys. Thanks for watching.